Hey y'all, DD Lightning 43 here. Got a quick review for you. Um, I just got done shooting a little bit out back, so I figured it'd be a good time to go ahead and do a review on the holster that I use uh, more often than not. Uh, when I was trying to decide what kind of holster I was going to get, I looked at a lot of different holsters. I looked at pretty much anything you could think of on the market. Um, I looked at drop legs, I looked at like the G-code holsters, I looked at Serpas, I looked at leather holsters, I looked at concealment holsters. Uh, I even looked at duty holsters for law enforcement, like the Safari Lands and that kind of thing. Um, but I eventually found the Raven Concealment Holsters. Uh, they're Phantom Holster to be specific, and I really liked the looks of it. it. From everything I had seen on it and read about it, it was just a really durable holster that secured your gun well, uh, that worked for a variety of situations, and that's kind of what I figured out that I wanted. I wanted a holster that would work for me in the widest variety of situations. I uh, wanted one that I could wear outside the waistband on the range, uh, one that I could wear inside the waistband for concealment, and I wanted it to be the same holster. Um, for both of those, just the advantages that I liked about it was you could quickly change the way you carry it just by changing the hardware uh, for attaching it to a belt. Um, but I also found that I didn't want to wait the six month or whatever wait time it is for a, their, one of their standard holsters or uh, even, you know, what is it, 60 days or whatever it is for the quick ship holsters. So I started looking for other options when I found this. This is the Glock Royal uh, Modular Holster System by Crown Holsters. It is essentially the same as a Raven Concealment Systems Phantom Holster in that it is the two-piece ki molded Kydex, riveted. Uh, stand right now I have it configured for the outside the waistband with those loops. Um, but I found this and I really liked the looks of it because it was $50 and had a 14-day wait time, um, which gets me into uh, the ordering process. When you order a holster from Crown Holsters, um, I had generally a good experience with them. I had ordered this holster for a Glock 23, which is my Gen 4 Glock 23. Go ahead and safety check. Nothing in the chamber, nothing in the magazine. Safe direction. Full trigger. Um, but I had wanted. I had ordered this for the Glock 23. Uh, I, as they come, the Crown holsters uh, are come with outside the waistband loops for an inch and a half wide belt. Um, they come with a sweat guard that covers the entire length of the slide. Uh, they come, the cant on them comes with a 15 degree cant on their non-light model holsters. For a light model, it comes with a 10 degree cant. Uh, but that that's how they come standard so I knew I didn't want that so when I placed the order I ordered it for inch and, inch and three quarter belt loops because I normally use a 511 belt it's a rigor style belt with the kydex stuff in it so it stiffens the belt up but that's an inch and three quarters so I ended up ordering an inch and three quarters wide belt loop I knew from past experience that I didn't want uh, a full combat cut on, or a full sweat guard, I should say, on the holster to allow me to get a full firing hand grip without interrupting my grip by grabbing the holster. Um, and then I had also ordered a 10 degree can uh, because I knew 15 was too much for me, especially since I'm wearing this 3 o'clock position. It just wasn't as comfortable, so I wanted a, a 10 degree can. Now, when I typed all that in, uh, it had actually reset my selection for the Glock 23 size holster, the mid-size Glock, and reestablished it as the same size for the Glock 17, which they've actually marked right there. Um, at first, when I got the holster, I was a little bit disappointed that it did that. Um, but in reality, I'm, I'm okay with it. If I decide to get a, a full-size Glock, um, I could easily use this holster for it as well. 
um, one of the issues I had with the ordering process was I was stated a 14 day lead time. 14 days went by, my holster still hadn't shipped. Uh, and as you can all understand, when you order something online, you're excited for it to get there, you just want it. Uh, what I'd come to find out, it was 14 business days, not actually 14 days. So you need to take that into account when you order the holster. Um, the holster is made of a black Kydex material. I believe it is the regular thickness. It is the .06, I believe. Uh, that, that's the thickness of the Kydex. Um, the rivets are all very quality rivets. Um, they're, none of them are cracked. They're not split. The lines of the holster are very, very um, well-made, kind of almost organic shapes, especially up top. But one thing you'll notice in comparison to the Raven Concealment's Phantom holster is that there's a lot less kydex on the side. If you look at a Raven Concealment holster, they're almost square in how much kydex they have on either side. Now, in talking to a law enforcement friend of mine, uh, that would actually pose a problem, especially if you're wearing it inside the waistband for concealment. Uh, when you have a lot of material sticking out on the backside of the holster, it can have, if you're wearing it inside the waistband, it can have the tendency to pinch your ass when you sit down. Um, I liked this in that it was shorter, so I could, it would be more comfortable on inside the waistband. It had a smaller profile, uh, but yet it still had all the same functionality as that Raven Concealment holster. Uh, one little bit of, um, of a minor hit that I have on it, because I, I, I have a friend who also has a Raven Concealment holster, so I, I don't have it with me to compare but I, I did compare them side by side. Um, other than the cut, really the only difference I noticed was the quality of care given to the seam. Uh, when you make a Kydex holster, as if you've watched the, the Philster Holster uh, Philly EDC channel on YouTube, you know that there goes it goes through a wet sanding process and it, it comes out really, really smooth and almost shiny. Uh, they did fairly well on the seam um, but there are some areas where you can see the kydex is separated a little bit. And you also notice that they didn't take the, the same amount of care in the belt loops. Uh, it's, it's a little bit rough, and it doesn't look like you'd spent the kind of money for a Raven. They're also not adjusted angularly. There, you can see that uh, this one right here is kind of cockeyed, um, which I didn't notice to be a problem when wearing a belt, but it's, it's just kind of an ergonomic hit for me. They also have their crown molded into the, the holster. That's how you can tell it's theirs. Um, the way it fits your firearm. Um, it's not as secure as a Raven, Raven Concealment holsters, but it's absolutely fine for range work outside the waistband and inside the waistband. It hugs it really tight, so it makes it nice and, nice and solid. Uh, but you can see that when it goes in, it clicks in and gives fairly solid retention, you know. I can shake it upside down and it's not going anywhere. Granted, this is not a fully loaded firearm, but it's not going anywhere. Uh, I wouldn't, you can see, if I shake it hard, it'll fall right out. But, you know, retention adequate. Um, comfort. Now, I've been wearing this daily. Now, I showed this in my EDC video a couple, about a week ago or so. Um, but what I failed to mention was that I do not yet have my concealed carry permit. Um, and due to my job and the traveling requirements for a loaded firearm in the state of in the state I live in, um, don't allow me to carry a firearm uh, on my person most of the time. I generally just wear this at home. Um, however, I have been wearing this for almost a month now, daily at home, uh, several hours a day. Uh, if I'm not working, almost the entire day, as long as I don't go out anywhere. Um, it is a very comfortable holster. The f one of the first things I noticed about the holster when I first got it was how light it is. This is the lightest holster I think I've ever picked up. It's lighter than any leather holster. It's lighter than a Serpa holster. It's lighter than uh, one of the nylon holsters. It's just a very, very light holster. Uh, so really the only weight that I noticed was the weight of my firearm itself. Um, it It is, as you can see, it is... Um, contoured 
Um, let's see if I can get the angle right yet. Yeah. It's contoured so it fits the shape of your body and it hugs nice and tight. Um, overall very comfortable. Concealability outside the waistband it does okay. It doesn't the holster itself allows the, a, sh a sh regular t-shirt like this just to flow over the outside of it. However, uh, inside the waistband, I did find it a little less comfortable. I also have the, the inside the waistband clips that I can just switch these out like the rear concealment. Inside the waistband, a little less comfortable. Um, it's kind of blocky and pokey and stuff on, the, on this backside, and, and it doesn't spread the weight out as well. Uh, other than that... The only thing I have to note that is unique about the Crown System holsters is that they are all marked as to what kind of holster it is. That way there's no guessing games. You know exactly what model size it will fit. Um, but it also has this little engraving. Every one comes with a Bible verse. Uh, the one that comes on mine is Isaiah 54, 17. Uh, and that is, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Um, so generally they have some sort of weapon or defense type of Bible verse in there, which I think is a nice touch. I mean, I am a Christian, so um, that's that's nice to see on, on a product made in America. Um, overall, a great holster. I love it. Um, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'd use it for a daily carry inside the waistband however if you are in a situation where you can carry outside the waistband if it's still concealed in winter time this is or if you're going to a range this is an excellent holster uh, if you're looking for a raven concealment style holster but you don't want to wait the six months to get one and you don't want to pay ninety dollars to have a holster that'll do the same thing as this fifty dollar holster that i got in a little over two weeks uh... it's definitely something you should take a look at it's very durable i mean it's it's very easy uh, if you have it on to rack the slide off of it. Um, it's it's very it's a very comfortable holster. It's very well made, uh, and it's definitely worth your consideration. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, I'm gonna have a couple more reviews out here in the next couple weeks, hopefully. So if you want, just stay tuned. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Stay safe.